I know so many of you watching this video probably have plans, all right, but you think the roadblock or the blockade to implementing those kind of plans is money, all right? I don't have money and probably I don't I don't have time, okay? I hope by the end of this video, that is if you watch it till the end, I'm sure you would learn a thing or two from me and probably have a change of mind and change of attitude, okay? So this video, I think my YouTube audience will understand better, okay? Because, I mean, I've been with them or they've been with me for a long time, since 2020. Okay, so le let's start. All right. So um, in 2020, I finally decided to start crazy content on YouTube, okay? But before then, I've, I've had a lot of friends who were content creators. They were doing pretty well, but um, I was kind of not so much interested in content creation, all right? I wasn't so much, I wouldn't say comfortable on camera, but... Ah, there was no edge. I did not. I mean, that, that that urge to start creating content wasn't there. All right, until somewhere in 2020. But by, by the way, you remember 2019 in Ghana? There was so much going on for the country. I should see so much in terms of hype. All right, you could hear year of return. You could hear if you go to YouTube, you see things that shocked me in Ghana as a Nigerian. Things that shocked me in Ghana as an American or African American. Things that shocked me in Ghana as Afro British. I mean, there were a lot of shock. <laughs> I mean, so many people were shocked uh, for so some reason that sometimes I wonder what really got them shocked about Ghana. But I'm sure they were shocked based on the fact that they were not expecting to see or experience Ghana in a certain way. So they were shocked. I mean, they had a fantastic experience and they probably were shocked. Okay, so yeah, um, but one popular, I mean, one of those popular videos came from Nigerians, all right? Like, so if you go to YouTube at that time from 2020, 2019 to 2020, you will see a lot of things that shocked me in Ghana as a Nigerian, things that shocked me in Ghana as a Nigerian. There were a lot of videos like that. So um, I remember watching a particular video from one Nigerian lady, and I mean, I really loved that video. The video was very fantastic. And I was like, ah, I have been to Nigeria before. I can also share my story about my experience in Nigeria and what shocked me, okay? Because, um, all I could see was Nigerians talking about their experience in Ghana. And at a point, I was, I was wondering, so does it mean Ghanaians don't travel to Nigeria or, or what? All right. So I decided to finally um, share my experience. All right. And guess what I used? I used a phone. All right. I shot my first video with a phone. All right. And guess what? The channel took off. I mean, it, the particular video went viral. All right. The video that was my first video i mean it was really interesting people were just jumping on board and i mean like commenting and liking i was getting love i was getting hate and all that i decided to make the part two of the video things that shocked me i actually divided the video into two that the, the things that shocked me in lagos as, an, as a Ghanaian and things that shocked me in abuja as a Ghanaian because i went to these two places okay and yeah that two video really took off well or did well i made my first three uh, my, my my third video and it was quite impressive so i should say i'm one of the lucky ones who started youtube without struggling okay because i i hear a lot of people say youtube is hard youtube is hard i mean it takes so much time for you to get monetized but i never experienced that okay my first two or my first three videos got me monetized on youtube and it was really fantastic but guess what after some time i realized the content that i started with wasn't the type of content that i wanted to make or oh, the plane the content that i started with isn't the content that i really love okay it was just a person through something i mean something that i didn't even plan documenting something that i mean out of impulse okay because i saw someone making videos about things that shocked her in ghana as a nigerian i said to also share my story all right so i didn't have any plan for the channel but the channel took off it got monetized after three months I started making money on youtube and i mean it was really really interesting then i was like oh okay so now what what do i have to do what should i do like what was the vision what's the goal what's the end game okay then i was like okay why don't i turn this channel into something more productive okay because i can't just wake up every day and say things that shocked me in guy nigeria's a Ghanaian. all right i really needed to start i mean creating something uh reasonable or formidable okay then i decided to make videos about africa american and uh, i mean africa american and african relationship or black american and african relationship that also did well but at a point i realized this is not the kind of content i want to do all right i'm one person who like to educate people and also love to talk about issues of life all right so i was like okay why don't i turn this channel into a podcast channel okay where um I, we can talk about 
different uh, subjects all right i can invite people and we can all sit down and have a conversation um on, on on a broader topic on various topic i mean both sensitive and just normal topic entertainment health i mean just have a podcast i mean sit and talk okay so that you guys can listen and take some i mean great insight from but then i was thinking oh for something or for a podcast to become a podcast you really need some setup you really need multi high quality multi cameras you need high quality microphones you need great lights and all that maybe it's because i saw some wild podcast settings all right because i've been watching a lot of great podcasts and that's and i think due to that information overload i thought that for you to start a podcast you should really have i mean you should really make it higher quality i mean you should start off big that was the impression okay so i decided to save i i started uh, doing an inquiry or making my own inquiries into all the gadgets or items needed to set up this great podcast i had uh, i have a good location so it's like okay so all i need is light podcast mic and camera and maybe a crew member to support me all right then i view the budget and I realized I would have to spend about ten thousand dollars to make this a reality. I mean, if I want to match up to the quality that I felt I wanted to put out there, all right. Or I was thinking that this should really be the yastic or the standard for a podcast, all right. I realized that thank you dollars is too much, all right. I was able to beat it down to seven thousand. It's like okay, so seven thousand. I think let me work little by little to raise my money to buy all the things needed to start a podcast, all right. So um, I started. I mean, I'll do some gig. I'll do. I work and make some lot of money. <laughs> the strategy I picked. Well, I wasn't going to buy everything at once. I'm going to buy in bits. All right. Okay. If I make let's say hundred or two hundred or three hundred dollars, I'll buy a podcast microphone. I get the money. I get. I, I. I mean, I make another money. Then I invest in another microphone. Then I go to a camera and lights and all that. So. I mean, it's something that I plan to do step by step. Okay. Guess what? I'm talking about 2021, 2022. And uh, by that time, the channel, because of the position or because of because of the direction I plan to take it to, all right, I was kind of relaxed on the channel. At a point, it even got demonetized and um, I got monetized again. But I wasn't serious with it because I was kind of working off youtube to make sure that i make some money to set up my dream podcast <laughs> i mean certain all right to have my dream podcast studio basically okay but i realized that that that's going to take a long time because i'll make the money i'll make small money uh, to invest in microphone then something will come up i'm a family man so i need to spend on the family and on other stuffs all right along the way i lost my dad and everything just came crashing i mean i lost interest in content creation at all the channel the youtube channel was there then the the viewership began to decline i used to get like forty thousand views fifty thousand views twenty thousand views later i was getting like 20 views or 30 views or 50 views sometimes i even get like 10 views like i mean it was really disheartening all right but this is the lesson that i've learned from okay i've i've, I've come to realize that i may not get the money or the bulk money to buy all this setting all right if i say i'm going to wait and save and buy in bits before i can start the podcast then i may never start at all okay and i believe these some um, these some of the problems that we as Ghanaian or people in general we have sometimes want to start off big okay and in life if we if, if you think of starting off big you won't appreciate small beginning as a typical example is my youtube channel all right i'm sure if i struggled like a lot of people who have been struggling to even get monetized on youtube i'm not sure i would say oh let me put this channel aside and do some things to raise money inside the podcast i would have i mean continue to build gradually and all that because guess what I have about 9,000 um, subscribers, all right? At the, by the time, I mean, at the time when I had 5,000 subscribers, all right, 5,000 subscribers, some YouTube channels had about 1,000, 2,000 subscribers, some 3,000. And those channels now, I mean, almost all of them have crossed 50,000, some even 100,000, even some 200,000 subscribers, okay? So imagine I didn't, I didn't stop. But I continued and uh, at least 
it was monetized so if i continue making money i would have made some money out of it because i felt the money coming from youtube is not big i just need to get off youtube and hustle and get money to start my podcast and you know that certain that i guess some high profile guests and all that all right i've realized it's not going to come easy and sometimes you need to start small you need to build from the beginning track your progress optimize know what you have to optimize actually know what you need to tweak know what i mean you just need to start from the scratch and build to the top okay so i want to just um i I encourage you guys i mean i don't know what you want to start in life i don't know whether you want to start a new career i don't know whether you want to start building a skill okay i personally don't know why i decided to do that the only reason i could attribute that to is because i got it so easily because for me the things that i really struggled to do the thing that i felt that i needed to just work hard to achieve like my skill all right my dicta skill i mean i started off from from the scratch all right i could have said Oh, it's going to take a long a lot of time. I, I could i could have said oh it's going to take a long time it's going to take a year or two so uh, i can't wait like a lot of you guys are doing when um i talk to some of you and i tell them that hey it took me about five six sometimes it can even take you a year for you to even land even land your first remote job they go like oh okay i mean they just want things instant 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 okay <laughs> so um i've come to realize that it's better if you start in way you don't have to wait you don't have to start big you can dream big but don't stand big start from the small beginning start from the scratch and build it build it build it build it. learn from the process all right learn from your mistakes all right L- grab opportunities and 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 be diligent okay and i'm sure we're going to be all right so on this very premise i just want to tell you guys that i'm going to start my podcast anyway i mean i'm going to start with what i have if i started this youtube channel with just a phone and now i have a camera and a mic like this i don't need a podcast mic or two uh sony a uh, seven iv r da, 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 before I, I i get to that i get to the contents that i believe will be helpful to you no i don't have to do that so i'm going to start just with what i have i'm going to invite people who would who would I, i'm going to i'm going to send an invitation those who will come should come those who won't come that's fine But either way, I'm going to start and build to the top, okay? And I pray and also hope that it turns out all right. But guys, I mean, let's all start. I mean, let's start something. If you want to start content creation, if you want to start a YouTube channel, start. I mean, don't say you want to to get a certain phone or a certain camera or a certain mic to start. If you want to start a, a, a TikTok channel, start. I mean, there are a lot of money to be made in content creation. I mean, as far as content marketing is concerned, start whatever you want to start. Start. Okay, if you want to start a channel or be social, start. I mean, start anyway okay because that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to start with my podcast whether i have the money to buy the high-end gadget to get that 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 a great studio setup or not i'm going to start it anyway so guys thanks for watching this video i hope and i pray that you guys will support this channel especially for those of you on youtube you're going to like my videos going to comment going to share so that at least i can get the numbers and gradually buy the cameras and the microphones and set up the podcast that you would want to watch till the end i pray and i hope you watch this today but yeah that's what i'm trying to say and um yeah so guys support my channel and let's see what happens all right but you are my witness though um and when you get to the top you will look at me and say that i'm glad i started with him or i regret not starting anyway when he started his first podcast so guys thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video bye